hello friends today in this tutorial i'll be showing you that how to convert the video which is mp4 video to a set of images at custom time so you can just take a screenshot or just do a thumbnail a series of thumbnails multiple images from mp4 video and for this task we will be using ffmpg in, inside node.js on the command line and for doing this we will be using the special module called as fluent ffmpg it's a very popular module inside node.js which makes uh, ffmpg a lot more easier it acts as an interface and uh, it makes the ffmpg library very easy you can see the weekly downloads is 182000 so we will be using this module all the source code regarding this script that I will be writing in this tutorial is given in the video description if you want to download the script you can go to the video description link it is there inside here inside the description so let me explain you what is happening so just make your node.js project and inside the node.js project you need to install this package which is npm install fluent ffmpg so i have already installed it so now i will write the script this is my video.mp4 file so first of all what we need to do we need to require the fluent ffmpg library so we will require it like this so after requiring it we will initialize the ffmpg library and basically this takes this uh, source parameter here you need to provide the path of the video which is stored inside your computer so basically the video is stored inside the same directory which is video.mp4 so basically here we will write here simply dot slash video.mp4 so let's suppose it is stored inside the videos folder some kind of a folder you will write like this video slash video.mp4 so in this case it is stored inside uh, the same directory which is root directory so we will write like this so after this guys here we need to use the on method and here we will write file names so whatever file name that you need to give file names this will be a callback function so simply here we will be saying created file names and in the second argument we will pass the file names which is like this so basically whenever you put the video here it will create the series of file names for the images files which will be created so these we will be printing out a special message in the console whenever it is done and when the process is finished we will have this callback function here on end so this will again be a callback and here we will simply say job done or finish processing something like this so there is also an error callback so if any sort of error take place we will simply say to the user that an error, uh, error occurred so we will simply display the error and the main business logic of this application guys we are, will be using take screenshots method which is available inside the fluent ffmpg library take screenshots the title of the video also include this method take screenshots so here we will be initializing so this takes a series of options the file name so the file name will be example.png you can give any file name of your choice this can also create jpg files as well so then custom time so custom times either you can provide timestamps or time marks so basically it is saying take the screenshots at uh, one second and the second second so basically it will automatically take the screenshot at the first second of the video and at the second second of the video these are values are in seconds so put a uh, comma and uh, that's it so these are the two options it takes and after that this is the put a comma here and here it takes the folder name which needs to be created before you execute the script 
basically here you can provide where the images will be stored so we have provided the folder which is images so if I have haven't created this folder if I try to run the script without creating this I will be having the errors or oh, sorry it automatically created this folder you will see that images so we don't need to create this folder manually it will automatically create it whenever you execute the script so it has created these two files which is uh, example1.png and example2.png if I open this you will see that these are the screenshots it has taken from the video this is the first screenshot this is a second screenshot so basically if you provide uh, some more here one two three this will take the screenshot at the third second so once again now three images will be created this is the third screenshot you will see that so in this way guys you can specifically take screenshots from videos at certain timestamp and uh, custom time using fluent ffmpg library i have shown you the complete example using the take screenshots method so this was the new method which was there inside somebody has uh, talked about that so i wanted to make a video on this so that you guys also knew about it i have given all the source code in the video description so please hit the like button subscribe the channel and i will be seeing you in the next video